In this video, we're going to learn how Soundtrap works by exploring a pre-made project and looking at some shortcuts and also looking at the user interface to see how Soundtrap truly works. Stay tuned. Okay, let's start over here on the left side. All of these things right here are called tracks. Now a track basically represents a musical instrument. For example, cymbals or an 808 or a pad. And each one is going to have its own lane, which is what these are. And that means it will have these regions. And when these regions appear in the lane, then sound will play from them. This purple thing right here is our playhead and it represents where we're playing in the song. Up top, we have bars and beats. A little bit more on that later. We're gonna take a look at some shortcuts that will help us navigate this project. So the first one that I wanna show you is play and stop. So if you press this button down here, the play button, you can play the track, but you can also play it using a keyboard shortcut, which will be a lot more convenient. And that keyboard shortcut is the space bar. And if I press it again, the project stops. And the playhead will remain exactly where we stopped. Now we can move the playhead around by clicking on the screen and moving the playhead with our mouse. And sometimes that's really useful, but other times we wanna use a keyboard command to quickly move the playhead somewhere. So there's a couple keyboard commands that we can use. The first one is to move the playhead all the way back to the beginning. If we press return, that will usually do it. Now, sometimes you might have to press return more than once. The first time it will jump somewhere else. And then when you press it again, it will jump all the way back to the beginning. Now we can also move the playhead bar by bar. These numbers up here represent bars. And so if I use the right arrow key, I can go forward one bar at a time. And even if I'm halfway in between the bar, it will still go forward one bar at a time. And if I use the left arrow key, I can go backwards one bar at a time. Now we can use those arrow keys and enter when things are playing. So I can skip forward. I can go back. Okay, I can go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so to go back to the beginning, uh, usually we need to stop and then press enter and then it's good. Okay. Now the rest of our shortcuts are for moving around. So we can scroll up and down and you can see we have a lot of tracks over here in this project. And we can scroll up and down using our mouse wheel, but we can also scroll horizontally if we hold the shift key and use the mouse wheel. All right, now sometimes we wanna zoom in or zoom out to see the whole project. So right now we're kind of zoomed in. So if you hold control, and scroll up and down with the mouse wheel, we can zoom in and out horizontally. Okay, which is really useful. Now you can also grab this bar down here to move things horizontally, but I feel like using the mouse wheel and just holding shift is much faster. Now we can also zoom vertically by holding either alt or option and scrolling with the mouse wheel. And so now we can truly see what the entire project looks like. and so on and so forth. So your job is to play around with these shortcuts, learn how to use them. So for example, learn how to bring the playhead all the way back to the beginning, learn how to play and stop, move the playhead forward and play. Move the playhead back and play. Zoom in, maybe on this grand piano track. So hold control and scroll up and down. And maybe we we'll wanna zoom more vertically as well. So hold Option if you're on a Mac or Alt if you're on Windows. Okay. And to access all the various uh, Soundtrap keyboard shortcuts, if you go to Tutorial and Keyboard Shortcuts, you'll see them all listed here. So I hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned for more.